A massive hole in a bridge reopened again this morning, jolting drivers during their rush hour commute. It happened on Irving Boulevard Bridge at Regal Road, the same bridge in northwest Dallas that had a similar gaping hole this spring. Fox Force Laurie Brown in front of that bridge. And Laurie, it took a while for the city to respond to your questions this morning. Clarice, this is the third time that we have been out here about problems with this bridge. A man who first alerted us to problems in May just became a victim of a new massive hole that opened up yesterday. Now he's worried that it's just a matter of time before another hole causes a serious crash. Lonnie Ivy has been trying to get the city's attention for months about gaping holes on the Irving Boulevard Bridge. It's a matter of time someone's going to die. Is it going to take that to fix it? He could not believe his eyes this morning, so he snapped these photos. The same hole that he says did hundreds of dollars of damage to his truck Thursday morning was back just one day later. When it was dark on the bridge, there's no lights, you can't see the hole. And boom, you hit the hole and you'll know when you hit the hole. It's like 10 inches of concrete. This is how the hole looked Thursday in the right eastbound lane on Irving Boulevard Bridge. You can see right through the bridge. Driver after driver told us how shocking it was when they hit it and damaged their cars. I didn't know what to do. I just pulled over, got myself together a little bit, cried a little bit. I heard a boom like this. I thought maybe I hit like a piece of metal on the road. Dallas City street crews patched the road with a steel plate and asphalt. But by 7 a.m. this morning, the steel plate was well off the hole. Ivy says his supervisor, who has a yellow light on his car, blocked the opening to protect drivers for 25 minutes. He's thankful new motorcycle riders came by. They would definitely die. It'd break the front wheel off the motorcycle. They'd probably fly off the bridge or, you know, they definitely, you're, you're talking that deep of a hole in a good two or three foot in round. When we drove by the hole this morning, the city had put back the same kind of patch that just failed. We emailed Ivy's photos to the city, pointing out the dangers to drivers. Hours later, we saw crews closing off the lane to traffic. A spokesperson told us the lane will be closed until concrete repairs can be made. Ivy is hoping the city's next patch will be enough. The bridges are, are designed to give, and all these heavy trucks going over this bridge with heavy loads, 40,000 pounds, the, the bridge is moving. All it's doing is they're putting concrete in a square. We also reached out to Mayor Rollins and Mayor Pro Tem Monica Alonzo, who represents this district, to see if they feel like the city needs to do more than just keep patching the holes. Mayor Pro Tem Monica Alonzo's office said that they would ask her, and we did not hear back from Mayor Rollins. Calories? They've got to find a fix that is going to last. Lori Brown reporting live. Thank you.